And why does why does Shaitan he wants to the Muslim man to take off his beard? Why does Shaitan wants the Muslim woman to take off her hijab? Why? Because the beard for the man this is a shield, and the hijab for a woman this is a shield. For example, you never see a man who has a beard and he wears his kufi or wears a turban, right? Because this is the whole thing. It's not just the beard only, but the beard and the kufi and the beard and the turban. You're not going to see this man walk into a club. You're not going to see this man walk into a bar. You feel ashamed of his uniform. This is his shield. You're not see this man speaking in an ill language because he knows that he's carrying the uh, the example, the uniform of the believers right? and the companions in the Prophet sallallahu So he'll have a shame of that. And the same with a woman. She'll see her hijab. She'll feel ashamed of this hijab. How can I speak like this? How can I be a flirtatious woman? How can I be, you know, X, Y, and Z? So what shaitan has figured out, okay, no problem. You don't want to take off the hijab? Okay, no problem. Then you can wear clothes like this, and you can wear dress like this. So you just keep your, your head covered, no problem. But now she put on all this makeup. Wear these kind of clothes. So at that point in time, the uniform has been taken off pretty much, right? And so then, then the person has the same, the same um, concept as, as, a, as a corrupt woman. And the same thing with a man. Trim your beard like this, trim it. It's okay, leave your beard, no problem. Just trim it up like this, trim it up like that. Do X, Y, and Z with it, you know? And then uh, put on a, a, a beanie instead of a kufi. It's the same thing, you're covering your hair. But really, it's little by little taking off that shield. And take off that shield, now you're open game for shit.